Hey guys, it's AC Conditioner, and today I'm going to be reading a book from Genshin Impact for the first time called Flowers for the Princess Fischl. And it's my first time doing an audiobook style recording on this channel, so I hope you guys enjoy. Phantasmagoria, the dream lives on. Such words surely must appear in the midst of every tale, and they are largely the words of the Kaiserin of the Imanoctrug. This surely is not the enigma that concerns the greatest majority of the readers, but we must still start here nonetheless. Oswaldo Hrothnabins, the mighty lord of the Nachtrabin. If visual strength and battle might be considered a 10, and the beast of the world should be have an average of 15, then Oswaldo's strength may be considered 13. His great power was on display when he destroyed Damurung in Volume 1. That said, the Nachtrabin is itself the enemy of Damurung anyway. As for the feelings that Oswaldo holds towards Fischl, Mr. Nine does not believe it to be romance, but more likely, a form of imprinting common to Bird Kindred. Aside from this, the title, Prince Nathraben, is not a particularly high-flown one, considering that the Night Ravens have always been known for being conspirators and bearers of curses. Asfado likely insisted that this title, or how mere King of Night, calmed himself dust before the Imanoctrike, Beast of the World, gets on Constork. In certain probabilities, this is the beast of the world that the Imanoctrek will be faced with in this cycle. Its battle strength is around 30. In a distant causality, if the philosopher Sarathustra was not chosen, then the opera rider would have gained victory in the contest over the will of the world. Once Gerson Construct takes stage in the opera's theater of the apocalypse, many more beasts of the world that reside within the center of the universe will inexorably begin to appear as well. In the final volume, the weakness of the beast of the world Saint of Seven Tears, whose common strength was 10 and therefore equal to Fischl, was quite out of the ordinary. And the Saint merely well for Sarathustra first, a choice that seems undeserving of any blame. Both Sarathustra and the musician exist to give praise unto the processing death for Atonlung. One proclaims the agony she suffers in her heart, while the other proclaims the grandeur of her travails. Then processing, of course, will not favor the latter, for such things she will be ashamed. Salmar Nakgarten. It is said that those who are highly skilled in the magical arts will possess their own unique domains of consciousness. Their loves, hatreds, yearnings, jealousness, adherence, and passions of the soul will be stored here. In fictional tales of other novels, this place is called Summerland. The Salmar Nakgarten of the Princess is something in this vein. That this concept was never well explored in the end remains quite the pity. The Suspected Eternal Return Quite a few of the final points of the tale have caused people to wonder if the Kaiserman of the Imanoctrike once experienced all that Fischl has. Fischl's father is undoubtedly not a mere shade. He is majestic and mighty, and helps Fischl to dispel her confusions. As for Fischl's mother, the Kaiserin, her actions indeed show her to have quite the interesting character indeed, but she will only speak one line, which is, as we noted earlier in the text, the dream lives on. In the final volume, Fischl's mother has already faded away, and so this volume naturally did not have this preceding line. But as the universe entered this nomad, and all things within it flowed into the Imanoctrek, she spoke another line of the enigmatic intent. Find the meaning somewhere, the night deepens. Find the meaning somewhere, the night deepens, but the dream lives on. Dear readers, I hope that you will find all happiness in this world, where the sun still rises each day.